Hey everyone and welcome back. Right where we left off after killing the fruit fucker, Tycho leveled up and we got 40 machine parts. And we got some fruit, but because for some odd reason it carries around some items you got in the previous game, um... I... Ooh! Now this, save this for the next time you encounter a bunch of fruit fuckers. Because if you have that, it can get you another achievement. I'll show it to you, but I really don't want to. Well, but I don't have to. All it is is you have to finish a fight using only an attack item. Basically, if you use it on fruit fuckers, it's their weakness for this game, and it pretty much just all kills all of them one hit. But I'm saving mine for later on whenever some of the bigger, tougher enemies appear. Counter attack! Those of you with eagle ears will have noticed I've dropped in a few TV tropes references over the past few reviews, such as Punched Out Cthulhu and Took a Level and Badassery. It's mostly because I was recently introduced to it and I've become horribly poisoned by it. Shit. It's like a very easy to, like, counterattack with little dudes. See if I can get it done. Of course not. God does not like me now. Once again, I love the music from this game. No wonder that's a goddamn critical hit. You're right, you shot the dude's face off there. I'll hit then I'll show off Tycho's new move. It's cool that I got it. This move is quite epic in my opinion. See what you've got to do is hit the button correlating to the symbol with the fruit fucker in it. If you hit one that's green or has a friendly character in it, you miss or lose damage from the attack. Which is no good. Boom! Badass bookworm, motherfucker. And so Tycho gets plus 5 overkill damage. We also get some lightning juice. Now right over here is some more machines. Aha, uh -huh, take that. Now these guys are much the same as in the previous thing. Sorry about that, there was a little interruption. Which means there might be a slight jump in a couple of things. For that I apologize. But stuff happens and I have to answer doors and get phones and crap. Aha. Uh -huh. White Christmas in this fight, you're guaranteed the um, finish fight with only weapons achievement. Because I said earlier, these guys are weak as hell to the White Christmas. In fact, White Christmas is the best offensive item in this entire game, so it's a good idea to stock up on them and not use them all up. Like I did mistakenly the first time I played for this. They're like this game's dynamite, there's very few of them, and whenever you get them, they're bound to open up a kind of whoop ass on anything. Boom. So I recently rented out Dante's Inferno from my local blockbuster. And I have to say it's quite fun. A lot of people were saying you shouldn't get it because it's a uh, God of War ripoff, but you know, I figured that's a reason to get it. I mean, think about how much more awesome the Bible would be if you replaced Jesus and Moses with Kratos. Just imagine it. Kratos, we must part the Red Sea! No! Kratos then proceeds to build a, a large bridge out of the body of the dying Egyptians around him. Admittedly, the Bible would have been far more interesting and far more badass. Well, it is a fun game, I quite like it, although some parts are ridiculously hard. Sometimes the um, detection of ledges is entirely buggy and hateful. For example, I jump at a ledge above a molten gold, gold pot. And he misses it, falls in and dies, and then you have to fight four guys again, bust open the pot again, and start tilting everything again. And if you and if you fucking miss the corner of an edge, you're going in the one hit death gold. There's a lot of one hit kill things in that, such as like boiling pits of blood and shit. I mean, if the souls can survive it, then how the hell can't I? 
Yeah, apparently they're friendly, but they're gonna try and kill us regardless. Oh. I hate it when your teeth taste funny. You know, you don't brush in a day or two and you get this odd placky build up. Oh, wait, just don't. No, wait. No, think we don't think. You ever had that feeling like, oh, it's like mm, I didn't brush there as thoroughly as I could, and now I've got this awful, weird, second skin feeling going on? God, I hate that feeling. Regardless. Now, um, on the way up to the asylum, you want to kill every single robot you see, because if you do, you'll have enough to upgrade one weapon, which is pretty kick-ass this early in the game. Now, I've already decided who I'm going to upgrade first. It's got to be Taiko, simply because, well, his second weapon is the epitome of badassery. Boom. I don't think I got an overkill for Gabe yet. I'll just let his build up. Damn it. Crap. Huh, pleased to meet you. Let's see if I can do this right. I think I'm cursed when it comes to Gabe. I never seem to be able to do his um things when it comes to these videos. See, I just I always cock it up a little bit. I credit it to as Chuck Connery says the let's play curse. That and I also accredited to the fact you have to record in lower down graphics than normal to to record you have to play in low graphics. This game in HD looks pretty kick ass, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's pretty awesome. So if you ever buy this and you're fortunate enough to have an HD TV, definitely give this game a look on HD. It looks pretty awesome. You wouldn't think so compared to how it looks, but just the bad assery level goes up a few hundred notches. Time for a new segment that I'm going to call Give Me an Answer in the Comment Section. How exactly does him gibbering at me hurt me? Whoever can find with the best answer will get an honourable mention in a couple of videos. What exactly are they doing or saying or yelling at me that actually causes my health to go down? That one with the best answer appears in a few videos. Aha! Uh -huh. Gibbering has no effect on me! There's my rebuttal! Oh, was gonna kill him anyway? Ah, I've got him first thing, but I'm not gonna use it now. I'm going to save it for later. Because believe me, you'll need it in a little bit. Uh huh. We game level up once again. In the mist, could this be the man we see? He seems to soil himself with less frequency. They say only yep. madmen know the truth. I don't know who said it though. It could have been a madman. Those fantastic new orderlies. I look forward to being brutalized in some creative new fashion. I have yet to be seen by a hot iron during my stay. What a novel agony that must be. Yeah, let's torture this guy. Oh, you have no idea, pal. Get ready. Gabriel stifles a laugh. Brow furrowed Tycho grips the reins of the conversation, as he often does. Fear not, we are not in this. No? That's a relief. I just got used to the brigands who currently operate the establishment. Who are you, then? We're from the startling development detective agency. I'm Tycho Aramis Bree, founder. It might be difficult to explain what I actually do. Gabriel might be easier. He... I punch people! And not just for fun, no, no, I, I, I do it professionally. You know, I'm the, uh... Gears deep in Gabriel's mind begin to spin furiously. I'm our head puncher! That sounds like a good position. I, I wouldn't mind being a head puncher. Who else wouldn't mind being a head puncher? Comment section. This is Greg. He's something of a new hire. I'm the intern. Dr. Jonathan Crazoir, at your service. I apologize for not having more pep. The constant beatings, you understand, they do weigh on a person. I would imagine, my friend. We need to talk about your robotics work. Do you? Do you now? Well, maybe I need to get out of this wretched madhouse. Fair enough. Talk to the man who runs this horrid place. <laughs> Dr. Lord Chandler Wolfington. Best name. 
ever. He a spasm crosses Taiko's face. Yes, I've made his acquaintance. Yeah, I, I guess you would. Oh, how jolly. Perhaps that will help. And I'll do you one better. Secure my release papers and I'll give you something startling. An air horn? An air horn indeed. Nay, sir, and again I say nay. What an air horn? Under ordinary circumstances, I would never part with it. But these circumstances are not ordinary, are they? I will give you a certain punch card, one prize in scientific circles. Huh, well, we're almost out of time, so I think I'll just end the video here. I'll see you guys around.